give us that. <laughs> okay, so you're welcome back to Prime Morning. And uh, it's time for an awesome conversation. Um, I guess that's seated for this one. Okay, MJ, see, I want to ask you something. Nanato okay. Dankwa mm. um, and Baumia government have been the best yet in Ghana mm. to have progressed. Uh, the country in so many diverse ways. Mm. Are you for or against the motion? Against. Okay, go ahead. To Prove to me. Prove to you yes. that. Okay. After elections in 2016, we were promised a lot of things in this country. As it starts right now, do so has come back. And also, SML deal is corruption deal. <laughs> You look for trouble for me, eh? I'm sorry about that, so, Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what, is, what has been your view about debates in senior high school? Um, when I was in senior high school, I really wanted to join the debates club. Mm. Uh, but um, I was, I I was with the that. drama club. I didn't, I didn't like anything debate. Oh. Yeah. The only, yeah. The only thing I wanted to debate about was debating about God. Okay. Anything, early, whatever, I didn't want to be part of it. So I, was, I joined the drama group and uh, we were oh. playing drums and we <laughs> So you were better off with yeah, that. We're okay, dancing. no problem. Okay, time. so I think. But I love to see people use. debate though. Yes, I, I enjoy watching it myself. <laughs> I enjoy watching such myself, and we have very young, amazing uh, um, individuals who have very bright future. Uh, they are here seated with us this morning, and it's all about the national debates competition, and they are going to represent Ghana in the United States of America. But before we introduce the students to you, um, need to do this one first. Um, the coach for these amazing individuals, Elisha Owusu Echao. How are you doing? I'm good. Because I hope I got to the same name, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. And Isaac Boachi, who is a speech forces program manager. Good morning, Isaac. Good morning. How are you? I'm great, I'm great. Did you enjoy KMJ's? Um, he said he's against the motion. Did he do well? Uh, Was it convincing? It, it does not qualify as an argument. <laughs> <laughs> because Isaac, Isaac doesn't want to get home. <laughs> he, he doesn't want any trouble. Let me just put it that way. All right. So, uh, the Ghana National Debates Competition. Before we do that, these amazing individuals are looking very good. And they are looking at my face, just waiting for me to give them the opportunity to introduce themselves. So kindly do so. Introduce yourselves to us. Uh, what do we say? Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay, so my name is Mami Fua Odawa Achene, and I'm from Alpha Beta Christian College. Sweet. Thank you. I'm Chim Safu Kwame from Presbyterian Boys Secondary School. OK. Mm. I'm Wumbe Ibrahim Hidaya Sinu. You are what? Wumbe, Wumbe yeah. Ibrahim Hidaya Sinu from Wesley Girls High School. OK. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Judy Akusi Anyamiche Ofori from Achimota School. Okay. I'm Karen Ogiri Siata from Wesley Girls High School. No, yeah. speak, speak into the microphone so we can hear you. Your friends won't hear you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm Karen Audrey Erisi Arthur from Wesley Girls High School. So at this point, I like you both. <laughs> you know why? Because I'm an old girl. Oh, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, so I like you both very much. Now let's talk about Kay. Let's talk about uh, Ghana. I'm an old boy, yeah. So I like you too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Ghana National Debates Company, what really is it about? Tell us about it. So I'll talk about Speech Forces okay. and then we talk that's, about the competition. That's fine. So Speech Forces is a non profit that is um, committed to improving the culture of debate in the country. And over the past decade, we've been running programs from university, high school, and even primary schools. Because like I was telling KMJ, mm. um, we want to sanitize debates in the country. Because a lot of times, we have shouting matches, but we don't really have people making arguments, backing yeah. them with evidence yeah. and yeah. the likes. And we also believe that when we have more critical thinkers in the country, we build better citizens. So our program is enveloped around making sure young students like these mm -hmm. have that opportunity so it can spill over into our various communities. And so we've been building the Ghana National Debate Team as one of our programs. Elisha is the coach, so maybe he'll talk to us about mm -hmm. our processes more. Yeah, and I, I like the fact that he spoke about, you know, debates back then used to be shouting, 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 this person will be on that person. And really, you don't get the main message people are trying to send out there. You I don't know what 
happens these days, though. But I think back then, like would, you said... We would invite you for a couple of hours. I'll, I'll love to. I'll love to be there and see what happens, you know. But, but let, let, let's, let's talk about it, too. Yeah. So the Ghana National Debate Team was set up in 2017. And the idea was we currently have a popular format of debating mm. that a lot of people are used to. So um, these debates are the ones where we have the principal speaker, the first supporting, mm -hmm. second supporting, and usually they speak for five, three, two minutes. But there's an international debating format for high schools called mm -hmm. the World Schools Debate Format. And that was something that was not popular in Ghana. So as um, Boache said, we have a lot of programs that we do as speech forces, and we decided to start teaching kids in Ghanaian high schools how to debate using the World Schools Format. So this one is very different. Um, there are different aspects of the format. For example, when you get a prepared motion, right, you have to do more research than the average debate would want you to do. The second thing is, unlike the other formats of debate, where you just speak as if it is a presentation, yeah. during this, people can stop you and ask you questions, oh. points of information. Yeah. So all of these things or these skills in that format gives the children a different perspective of what debating is and what debating means. So we started in 2017, and um, funny enough, I was on the team in 2018 um, when I was um, at Presec Legon. Okay. And now I'm done with the university and I'm, I'm coach. So what we've been doing is every year, we open it up. Um, we allow kids from all over the country to apply. Um, our last tryout was last year. Mm. We had over 100 kids um, at oh. Academic City um, looking to join the team. So we went through the trials and we selected a couple of people who ended up on the team and we've been training all year long and we're about to attend various competitions. So the students you see here today are about to leave the country in June for the Ghana, sorry, for the US mm -hmm. uh, National Speech and Debate Tournament. Yes. Sweet. Okay, so I want us to delve into the importance of debate clubs in schools. When I was in junior high school, um, one of the things that um, our English teacher mm -hmm. or the head of departments of the English language, what he did was to do his very best to train us by starting to let us indulge in debating here and there. But it was the old way, the previous way, like you described earlier. So really, it was like, oh, you would just be shouting near more, more fans, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And then that's just about it. But then for you to take out exactly what you need to, you are trying to communicate. It wasn't really there. It was quite difficult. But let's talk about the impact. I think... That joining a club like that does to you as an individual. I think a lot of people, um, we all know the benefits, of course, in terms of making a good speaker, helping you deal with stage fright and all that. Mm. But one aspect that speech forces we focus on so much is it forces you to interrogate positions that you may not ordinarily interrogate. So, for example, you, you asked him a question as to whether the government is the worst ever or the best ever. Maybe he holds a position, but if you put him in a position where he does not hold, that, that he does not hold initially, it forces him to engage the counter narrative. Mm. Okay. And that is very important because mm. our world is growing and yeah. minds are opening up. Yeah. And we need people to be able to interrogate ideas because when you interrogate ideas, you are more empathetic towards people and you take better decisions. But maybe you can hear from the students as to why yes. they joined the debate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, let's, so let's, let's, let's start with you. Yeah. Okay, so I joined debate because I had a very good passion for speaking since I was a child. Mm. I actually like to um, punch holes in people's arguments. Like um, anytime someone says something, I, I like to express my view on what I believe is right or wrong. Mm. So that's why I personally joined the debate. Did it make you come off as rude? Well, I don't feel like it made me come. But were you getting us. such feedback? Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because Ghanaians, we don't really like people like that. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to challenge what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so as young as you were, you were doing that. Yeah. And you developed that interest. Yes. Sweet. How about you? Um, for me, it's all about passion for speaking from high school. And getting into um, secondary school, I tried joining the debate team because... I wanted to um, shape my thoughts and thinking because sometimes I realize that even in arguing with people, you, you have a flaw in whatever you are saying. Mm -hmm. But because like, I don't want to seem to be like somebody who speaks lies or is telling something that is not true, I still want to um, 
go on with what I'm saying, but joining the beats helped me shape that thing that you can be wrong, you can be right as well. Mm. Okay, so you, I, I'm sure he was one of those people. Hey, you're wrong, girl. I'm like, come on, what did you say? Right? I believe I'm right. Yeah, yeah. like, I'm giving you the right info, but the way I will communicate, you'll be Is that it? Actually. Uh -huh. nice. That's strength. I like you that. You know? I mean, yeah. I mean, the idea is that if you hold a position, uh -huh. you must be able to adduce reasons. Exactly. You can't as just, long as I'm yeah. able to put it that, yes. I mean, That's really, persuasion. it's up to you to believe yeah. it or not, but yeah. I'm doing my best to convince you, so yeah. How about you, Wumbe, right? Yes. Mm. I personally joined the debate team because I felt like it would give me a safe space to be able to express my um, views and thoughts on certain issues. Because like Mami Ifua, I've had a passion for speaking since junior high school, you know, telling the teacher, oh, what you're saying is wrong. <laughs> like, oh, you're one of and, those. <laughs> <laughs> and the, like, the textbook is wrong and people... You were challenging even the textbook. <laughs> Not the, the like that. How they click like that? Crazy people. Okay. Crazy people. And then obviously you get feedback that oh you are being rude and yes. that. But then joining the debate team gives me that safe space to be able to express my opinion right. on many many issues. And That's great. How about you? Okay, so I've always had this passion for speaking. So when I joined the debate team, it helped me to shaping how I um, perceive certain things, it helped me to know that not everything is set in stone because at first I thought if this is the idea, there's nothing that can be done about it. Oh. So it helped to reshape my thinking that this could be it, but then there could be other reasons. Okay. And it also helped me not to believe in everything because most of the things that I was told as a child were <laughs> lies, actually. <laughs> okay. Sweet. You all grow with counter attacks. <laughs> okay, so I've always been an outspoken person. Okay. And normally in our society, when you're like that, you get a lot of comments on it. People yeah. say you are rude, etc. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I joined debating because I always want to speak my views on various things. And I also want to get a better understanding of our world and how it runs, the policies they do, etc. So for that reason, I joined debating. Okay. I see. Yeah. So it looks like every one of you is coming from a certain space where your ideologies, you know, and how you see things have been shaped into believing that you could make a positive change. Yeah. But if you, if you listen to them carefully, it's the passion. Collectively, how do you bridge that so that every person's individual idea about how they see things will, will become a team collectively? Yeah. Yeah, so um, during the trials, we look out for people that are outspoken, have specific um, features or elements that are good for building a team. Okay. And then after that, we do a lot of training sessions. Um, and during these training sessions, we go through various topics. So we call something first principles, mm. um, that the building foundations of forming complex thoughts. So for example, we have what first principles of economics, of criminal justice system or the law, so when we take everyone through this, what happens then is that you have a different perspective on how the world works, and you recognize that even if you have your own personal ideologies, as Boache said, when it comes to debating, yeah. you're going to get different um, stance that you have to defend. Mm -hmm. And when you're asked to defend that stance, you then need to pivot and put yourself in the shoes of the people that believe in that particular opinion and express yourself from that perspective. So. Um, maybe there's emotion on the U.S. elections, mm. and it's a conversation about maybe Biden's policies. Um, you may not necessarily agree with some of his policies, but you may be in a position where you have to defend that yeah. policy. And you'd be able to do that because during training, we've explained what the policies are, how it works. So yeah, people do have different ideologies, but when it comes to debating, it's either you are for emotion or against emotion, and you have to debate in the context of the motion that has been given to you and not just what you personally believe. Mm. And well, I think know. on top of that, mm -hmm. the primary idea is you can't argue against what you don't respect. So you have to respect what somebody says to be able to effectively respond to them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that comes with some empathy in terms of mm -hmm. understanding what others are saying. You have to have a listening ear. So you mm -hmm. can't be dismissive of what people say mm -hmm. yeah. from scratch. So you can't say, this is what I believe in from scratch, so, so you're not going to it. listen. Yeah. No. Yeah. You have yeah. to be empathetic yeah. to be able to understand and respect people's ideas. Yeah, it was actually the next question I was going to ask because it looks like for somebody who is highly egoist, all right, 
naturally you are egoistic. So if you feel like being in the debate team, how can you channel yourself in such a way that you will try to accept and understand what my, my, my competitor or my opponent is trying to say and trying to banter as well? Um, I'd say that okay. debate actually makes you more understanding and tolerant yeah. okay. compared to the other person. Yeah. Um, I'd say that the ego probably would be with people that don't debate at all. And that's what's more likely to happen than with people that debate. The reason why I'm saying this is, it, as he said, you listen, but it also makes you understand the perspective people are coming from. Because yeah. in society, we seem to have like very strong opinions that we don't want to depart from. And that's because we are not listening or we just <laughs> don't try to understand the perspective. So as Judy was saying, she knew a lot of things growing up and she has come to learn that those things were not true. Yeah. And all of that is the tolerance that like, we try to get people to engage in. Mm -hmm. So debate will probably make you a more understanding person yeah. than someone who just says, I don't want to hear this, don't talk yeah. to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. then, then you have done a great job. How long did it take you to polish them up? Um, so we had our last trial in September last year. Oh, okay. So it, we've not even got into a year yet. Right. But they are doing really, they really great stuff. Yeah, they've been doing online competitions. Just yesterday, they were in um, a final online, um, oh. debating against other kids from across the world. Yeah, I see. Looks like you guys are very much prepared for this U.S. trip. Is this yeah. going to be your first time in U.S.? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's our first time, man. But how prepared are you guys? I mean, your your uh, teachers will do all they have to do. Um, my boss here will do everything yeah. possible. Are you guys, if you guys are not prepared, we can't do anything, right? Mm -hmm. Are you prepared, fully prepared for this? Anyone can answer, I mean. Um, okay, so I feel like I'm prepared for it because I'm prepared not only to um, express myself, but to learn from this experience as well, so. Okay, who else want to top up? Any top up? In terms of preparations? Yes, so yeah. as Elisha said, we've been doing multiple online competitions against like teams from different countries across the world. So then that has, has also like helped us practice our debate skills and help us like understand more what's of what's like this debate style entails, which has helped us prepare more. Yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, let's come to the details of the event. Maybe Elijah. Elijah. Yes. Okay. So um, the U.S. Um, debating circuit is really large. So they have like different competitions that happen at the state level. And then all of it comes together at the U.S. National Speech and Debate Tournament. So you have over 6,000 kids from different states in the U.S. coming together. So every state has like a couple of reps for different events. Mm. And then we have international participants. So you have China... Um, Taiwan, different countries. That's where we fall. Yeah, so that's where we fall. So Ghana is going in there as an international participant. And this year we're taking three teams um, who will be participating in the World School Debates category. So they'll be debating against like other um, debaters from the various states. Mm. And this is our second appearance. Last year we were there and we took two teams and they had a 50% win record. We had six rounds, we won three rounds. And this year we are looking to improve on that. Yeah. So this year it's happening in Iowa. Um, okay. And as I said, we're taking three teams. So they'll be participating in the debate and then they'll do other side events. So yeah, we are looking forward to an amazing time in Iowa. Great. It looks, it's looking good already. <laughs> uh, we believe in you guys, right? And the, all the preparations you've gone through and we're hoping that you go, you bring up whatever you know, package you need to bring back here and then you know, make your life We are going better. for the gold. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. We are going for the goal. The 1957 dream. 1957? Oh, okay. So this, this is how you guys are called? It's, it's the Ghanaian dream. Yes. Yeah. It's the Ghanaian dream. I like dream. that. That we should build a country where all citizens are right thinking, engaging each other respectfully, and that's how we can bring the best out of each other. But we also like to say a very big thank you to um, some institutions and persons who have been supporting us. As you see the students here, a lot of the times, um, as an organization, we are able to support raise funds, but they also go a long way to raise funds themselves. Oh. And wow. so we always reach out to corporate Ghana and other institutions to come out in support of these students mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. obviously these are students who are doing wonderful things for the country. And so Ministry of Education, we've met them before. We've met other state institutions, National Youth Authority and all that, but we'd like corporate Ghana to reach out and support these ones because these are the 
future leaders. Yes. Well, these are more than future leaders. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I'm excited about it. We, we, we're still letting you guys know that we need more help. All right? Yeah, we do. So please come and support them. You know, you can even say when they get there, whatever it is they'll be doing, you take care of you it. You take care of it, you know. It, you know? And, and this is not doing Their anything, food. baby. Because oh. they'll come back, bring the glory we all yeah. enjoy it. And yeah. so let's support them, corporate yeah. Ghana. Let's do our best for these kids. I, I love what they're doing already. Yeah. So congratulations in advance. Uh, I know that regardless, no matter what level you get, but we are hoping you are brave for gold. Yes. But no matter what the level that you get to, you've done well, you've been amazing, and you're very good, OK? So, mama might be being a woman, but Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right, so thank you so much for right. your time. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. 1957 dream. How do you respond to that? We, we don't oh. have a response. There's no response. This gets no a response. response. <laughs> this oh, a response. 1957 dream. We go make her. 1957 dream. We go make her. 1957 dream. We go make her. Okay. Thank you, man. So this is, that's it for this uh, conversation. My name is Asira Komiya. He's KMJ. But don't tune out. Um, Adasa Travels has something great coming your way. So stay tuned for that conversation. We'll be right back.